Hey guys, welcome back to the Monica Brand Show. I'm Monica, of course, and we got Mighty Joe with Gym Life Media Hello, here. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, right? It's yeah, going to be right, Christmas. One week away. Oh my gosh. No, it's so close. We have another very special, beautiful guest because we keep getting all these guys in. But we got a beautiful guest here, Roxy Thunder. Thank you so NPC much. NPC champion, wellness champion. So good. And she's from Michigan. Yeah, she is. Oh Sorry, gosh. Monica. I know. Michigan We've been gal. going back and forth, Michigan, Texas, Michigan, Texas. We got a lot of great athletes from Michigan, and she's no different. Obviously, joining the full, because we do. You know, we do. We have so many yeah. IFPB pros. That's, that's yeah, awesome. absolutely. That's awesome. We're, the next we're one well right represented. here, right? Yeah. Soon. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so tell us a little bit about you and your background. Okay, so I actually w did have any background in fitness. I used to be an obese child. You were an obese yeah. child. I didn't really like fitness at all. Even though I grew up, like, my mom was, like, total, like, aerobics champion in the Philippines. Okay, your mom was? Yes. From the Philippines? Yes. Okay. So I grew up and grew older in the Philippines huh. and then moved to this country. And then I started my fitness journey. That's crazy. I, I love these stories. It's so fun to hear what people, where they come from and where they are. Like, how do you go from, I'm sorry, being obese to being who you are now? Like, <laughs> well, how, where did, <laughs> I mean, I understand there's training and nutrition, but yes. the mindset too, like yes. changing that mindset about yourself, right? So it actually started like when I was, you know, an obese, like teenager. I didn't really change my lifestyle just because I wanted to look good. I mean, obviously, a lot of people want to lose weight, to look good, to feel good about themselves. But I actually did that because my dad, who passed away from cancer, he was obese and everything else, you know, like high blood pressure, yeah. diabetes, everything. And it ran in my family. Everyone in my family on my dad's side was very sick. And so when he passed away, and I was 17 then, when he passed away, I decided to change my life. Yeah, um, that's yeah, a big, so. a big goal. Like an aha moment kind yes. of thing. And yeah. I yeah, thought, like, normal. you could be rich, you could have a everything in life, but if you don't have your health, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. And so that's what really catapulted me into getting healthier. Big reason so, for that, right? Yes. And then, you know, I always tell people, especially like my clients as a personal trainer, I always tell them, Find your why. Find the deeper right. meaning and why you're changing your life. Like it can't be just about winning. Yes, yeah. and it's not, and it's not about just like oh, looking good in a dress, looking good in a bikini, or anything yeah. like that. Find your deeper why because yes, you could look good for a bikini or for, or for a vacation. Then after that, what's going to happen? You're going right. to what's going to keep you there? Yes. So you did you did you set these goals where you're at now? Was there a point when you were losing weight and you were sort of changing who you were physically? Did you have these goals kind of in the back of your mind and find out where you're at right now? Not exactly as a competitor, yeah. but I always wanted to be a superhero. Okay, great. You always wanted yeah. what? A superhero. Oh, yeah. so, okay. I love that. I sure. That, yeah. So I always envisioned like a superwoman. Yeah. And I wanted to be strong. Yeah. Yes. And it's like everything else, that's your superpower. I love that, and actually. So if you could change the yes. world yes. with your physique, yeah. you could inspire with, especially women, you could inspire them to just change their mindset. I yeah. think that's really powerful Love and that it. will change your yeah. life. And so for me, that's why I keep going. It's not just because, of course, everyone wants to look good, but it's <laughs> deeper than that. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's like right. you just want to feel good and be like there for your family. So, so. how is your, your lifestyle and what you do now and how you live your life, how has that affected your family? your mom or any of your other family members well, my mom's actually really proud of me doing this and she's very supportive has I mean, she joined you in the um, in the journey a little bit she's actually like when i was a kid she was always on the journey oh my she, God, she was aerobics. an aerobic champion yes. that's oh, right oh goodness that's right. <laughs> all right that's so, right now the picture's being painted here and yes. <laughs> I just feel good like making her proud about it because I was always a fat kid yeah and my mom I mean, I mean I'm Filipino so I grew up in an Asian household oh. in the Philippines and they're very direct and they will tell you you're fat stop eating you're fat oh my oh, goodness yeah they the will culture. tell you right. yes it's a cultural thing yeah. it's, it's nothing offensive it's just cultural okay. and so my mom would always tell me you're getting too fat Watch what you eat. Isn't that interesting? Well, Don't she's telling you, you fat. Watch what you eat. We know Filipino food is delicious. It is delicious. Yeah, right. yeah and it's full of fat. 
that's not fair. Your mom shouldn't say that to you. She's feeding you at the same time. <laughs> well, my mom actually stops. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, eat healthier, eat this, yeah. eat this. I was like, okay. and I never really like listened to her yeah. until I got really big. <laughs> So yeah. it's it's really good to have like that support system, mm -hmm. and she's really proud of me because she always wanted me to join pageants, yeah. and I was like I was a nerd growing up. I was a goth kid nerd. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so nothing to do with fitness at all. And when I decided to do fitness, she's like, I don't really like you getting muscular, but I like it now. And she sees me getting all like glammed up and everything. Yeah, and yeah. She's like, I love it. Yeah. Because bikini is kind of like that, right? I yes, mean, bikini and wellness. Are time yeah, and wellness for sure. Yes. A little bit yes. more muscular in wellness. Yes, and she's yeah. like, I, I like it when you're round. Yes. So. Oh, I think all of us <laughs> love wellness. I'm just saying, we all love wellness. Um, I think it was, uh, the addition of wellness was necessary to fill that gap. Yes, yeah. yes. Absolutely. Yes. So how do you explain to somebody that hasn't uh, maybe seen what wellness is? Because it is a fairly newer event. Yes. How do you explain the difference with wellness and bikini and figure? Mm -hmm. So with wellness and bikini, a lot of people, especially on the local level, they think wellness is basically a softer, bigger version of bikini. Yeah. But as we can see, like going to the pro shows yes. and watching the pros, we see that wellness is actually more developed than bikini. Right. Like training is yes. completely different. Like we, I mean, we have strong, not strong, we can't really say we have stronger legs than bikini, but our training is more intense because we have to build that lower yeah. body. Yes. And it's not like, I think in, in bikini, it's that X factor. Everything's balanced. While in wellness, there's actually an imbalance. Right. Uh, you know, like a smaller top, but still right. developed. Right. But then heavier bottom, but very developed. You know, like the quads, the glutes, yes. the hamstrings, the calves. So I think that would be a huge difference from bikini and wellness. Right. It's more developed, more muscular, but not as muscular as figure. Do you think uh, you were a little more predisposed to wellness than being a bigger initially oh, most and coming down in size? Most definitely, because yeah. back in 2015, 2016, yeah. I tried bikini. Yeah. I mean, I, I went into it without having a coach, doing home workouts, and I was like, oh, I want to do that, because everyone looks so pretty yeah. and yeah. strong, and yeah. I was like, maybe that's something I could do. But when I got there, they're like, your legs are too big. Your your quads you're like, are too big. I don't want to get rid of them. So. And I'm like, came wellness. It yes. worked out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I was like, I can't get rid of my thunder thighs. Yeah. That's just, that's my gift. Yeah. So it's like, I always say, embrace your thunder. Embrace what people think are your flaws. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, that's a flaw. No, it's not a flaw. Right. You take right. those flaws, right. work on it, make it stronger. Yeah. And so you embrace it and Love be proud it. of it. Yeah. So. Well, we have something else besides uh, this whole thing in common. When I was in grade school, they called me Thunder Thighs. There you go. Linebacker <laughs> legs, Thunder Thighs, you know. And I think they thought it was a, you know, kind of a, a bad thing to, you know, but I'm, I never... Listen, Monica, me, they were calling you that back then. And the, Those people wouldn't be 80s. able to handle this generation of thunder thighs. Right? Yeah. Right? When you showed them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. You showed them all. You yes. showed them. I'll run faster than you because of these thunder thighs. Yeah. Yes. Now we yeah. embrace that word. Thunder thighs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. I like it. I didn't know that about your nickname, but I like it. Yes. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. So what do you have coming up next? So now I'm on the off season, but again, as we know, it's like if you're an athlete, there's no such thing as off season. Right, it's just off season. We're just not competing season. right now, and you're still in the process yes. of going to the next goal. Yes, and yep. it's like that's off season is so important because it's like we're continuing to still stick on the meal plan, mm -hmm. build that muscle, and that's where it counts the most. Not really the 12 week, 14 right, week. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. And so like my coach and her team, amazing, Team Panayin and Freitas okay. with Ricardo Panayin and um, Amy. Um, she's really good with like training me and even on my off season, really building that structure, building that physique, get, letting me get bigger even. And at first when I, got, when I started, I was like, I don't want to gain more weight. But it's necessary. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. necessary. But it's kind of fun, right? It's good yeah. yeah, it's good weight. So hey, he's just, got a big smile. He's like, I like the weight. <laughs> ah, yeah, I, like I love it. It's kind of fun gaining weight. It's the right way. <laughs> it is. The right yeah. way. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I just have to get out of that comfort zone. Right, right. And after a year doing an off season with her, I, I've I've proved to myself, like looking at my first wellness competition, which was like about a year and a half ago, to the next one which I did. Mm -hmm completely different package, yeah. completely different physique. So you just have to trust the process, 
find the best coach, find a great support system, and just stick to it and do your best. So I have a question about the mental side of things because I've worked with a lot of people that over the years that have had some eating disorders. Mm -hmm. So how do you, um, or what could you say to someone that maybe has some kind of a, the past, yes. like you talked about yourself being obese growing yes. up. Um, the good thing is probably, in my, and I'm thinking this, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but that your mom was very direct. Yes. And a lot of parents feel like they can't say anything because they don't want to hurt their kids' feelings and make their kids feel, you know, yeah. like something's wrong with them and they're just going to love you how you are kind of thing, not really try to, you know, and just kind of coddle that, right? As opposed to diving in going, no, let's, let's work on this. So what would you, what is the advice that you can maybe give someone that's like, oh my gosh, that's me right now. Like I want to be in that place, but I'm struggling in this place where I don't know how to get out of it. Like, is there any kind of uh, advice you can share with someone that's maybe hearing your story? Yes. What, what I would always tell people is like, just do what it, whatever it takes. Don't be afraid. There are so many things oh, that... Okay. That made me choke up. Don't be afraid, right? Don't be afraid. Because if you, it's yeah. the only thing that stops you from achieving any goal oh. is fear. Fear. And that fear comes from you. Yeah. It's not yeah. from anyone else. No, oh, right. It's like it's listen to your yourself, voice. Right? Yes, it doesn't matter what other people think. If you have a goal, you want it so bad, study it. And then not just jump into it, but study it and jump into it full force. Yeah. Just trust process and trust yourself. Because that's what's some, what, what's no really fear. important. Trust Perfect yourself. Perfect example right here. Yeah. That's no it's like, fear. It's like everyone else could believe in you, yeah. around you. But if you don't believe in yourself, nothing's going to change. You know what I love the most about this today? When, I, when we were chatting over there, she says, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and look at all this great stuff we're talking <laughs> about. True. It's very organic, and that's what I love doing the show with Monica. Yeah, is yeah. because we're meeting so many great people talking organically. Yes. There's no like script here. There's no yeah. structure. Yeah. We're like, we want to get yeah. to know everyone here. Yeah. Everyone has such an yeah. amazing great stories. Story, yes, like an yeah. a, a accomplished lives, and it's just it's very awesome. warming. Like, it I'm is. Awesome. Emotional. It's like, like perfect for the holiday awesome. season. Honestly, we're all yes. so much joy. So I know you guys are leaving for Vegas tomorrow. Yes. Maybe We're enjoy a little Vegas bit. Tomorrow. Leaving Vegas tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Leaving Fort Go. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm in Vegas. I've lost my mind. I'm in Vegas yeah. Right now. That's right. I've been in here like two straight days. I forget I'm in Vegas. Uh, How many Olympias have you been to? Um, this is my first Olympia that I yeah, attended live. Olympia. I know. Yes. That's great. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. That's awesome. On yeah. Twenty second. No. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. It's awesome though, and, and the and the sport needs people like you. Yes. So thanks it's for joining wonderful us. Wonderful to have yeah. you and to know what well, you're you representing, uh, what your goals are, and that you're out there trying to help other people better themselves and and demonstrate a life well lived and with big things still to accomplish. Yes. I tried. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, my Thank heart you so is very much. full talking to you. It is. Thank you so much yes. for having me. It's and yeah. no fear. Remember, no fear. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Roxy Thunder, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you. may the best of skill for you with all of your upcoming shows. I don't ever say good luck because you work too hard. Um, training those legs does not come easy. <laughs> and there's no luck in that. So best of skill. And may all of your dreams come true. Thank you so for much. For all the upcoming shows. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to watch you on, on social media going. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Bye, guys. Bye.